Here we are, just pulled into a uh, parking for Giant. There's actually a few spots left here. And that is amazing. We're going to go up that way. And it gets pretty steep the whole way. But yeah, it is amazing. There's a parking spot left at 10 o'clock in the morning. All right, here we are at the trailhead for Giant Mountain. raining last night so I'll probably be wet along here and it's clearing out as we speak this should be a pretty awesome hike it's been about 10 years since I've done it before here we will sign in at the trail register in case you get lost or eaten by bears or anything else we'll head on up now this trail, I'm not going to try to push it too fast. There's some pretty good elevation gain for the miles here. So just take a moderate pace. Enjoy it. Interesting terrain up here. Got a little bit of a climb so far. But that's what keeps these trails interesting. That's what I like. I got a little bit of an easy stretch here. Kind of rest up for a few minutes. But these don't last for long on this trail. Oh, wow, this is amazing. First look out up here. The road down there we came in on at Chapel Pond. Right over there. Very scenic this trail. Love it. Been wanting to come back here for a while. Roaring Brook Trail. There's a couple trails that go up here to Giant. One comes from that direction, also splits off along that ledge and comes down. I think that's where we're going to come back. But right now, we're going to head straight up there. Keep following our trail this way. It's been a very dry season. This, wow, this is feet, several feet low. Also, some camping spots up here. Definitely a good option right there. And another trail junction. And we're going to go to the right here. The ridge trail on the way back we can come from this direction so the trail goes down the other side comes across and comes out here i haven't seen that yet so we're gonna check that out today all right i've been steadily climbing up for a while and i can tell on the camera the road doesn't capture this part but there's some pretty steep rocks right here. But 
doing great really. Luckily, since I got out of the car, it was really hot and muggy down there. It's definitely cooling off here. And there's a nice breeze. More great views getting higher. Uh, we weren't even as high as those cliffs the last time uh, we had our lookout. Pointy Mountain right there is Noonmark. That's a good one too. Trail's actually over there, but I can go down ever so slightly, then up there and continue up that ridge up there, and even higher past that. That just kind of blocks our view of the actual summit so far. Now we're going to head over that way to Rocky Peak Ridge. Going some of going at some of the more open rock face area. There's a rock cairn as they're called up here. Let you know you're going in the right direction. People add rocks to that here and there. As we get higher and higher. Still amazing views. There's a lot of places like this going up this trail, so sometimes hard to just keep hiking and not just stop and keep taking too many pictures and videos. I think I stop once in a while and just take it all in. It's amazing. But on the way back, hopefully. Time and energy allowing, we're not gonna take the ridge trail. We'll be taking this uh Roaring Brook Trail. It's a slightly different descent. A little bit longer, but I think it's gonna be pretty scenic and probably worth the side trip. Oh look at that. There's an outhouse over there. Or privy. Climb pretty steady here. Hello. <laughs> oh. Hi. <laughs> Getting close. Here we are, almost at the summit of Giant. Down this way is Rocky Peak Ridge. 1.2 miles. Uh, Giant is, uh, well, just up here like a tenth of a mile. Or not very far at all. So, take a good little break up here. Here we are, summit of Giant. Seven 
17. Started to hike at 10.05. So about two hours and 12 minutes. Rocky Peak Ridge now. We'll let all the rest of these people enjoy the summit. You know, <laughs> good climb up here. Yeah. <laughs> right now we're gonna go way down into the, the call in between uh, giant Rocky Peak Ridge way down there. And then we'll climb way up there. After a little break, we'll do it in reverse. <laughs> we came all the way down in between these two mountains, and we're now headed up Rocky Peak Ridge. Well, this trail is definitely not as steep as the uh, one coming down from Giant. Of course, we'll get to uh, experience that trail back up. Giant Mountain. Not too far from now. Here it is. Hello, Hello again. to be the highest point up here. Another group, they uh, they passed me at the Rocky Peak Ridge Junction when I was going up the Giant earlier. So they must be uh, going all the way back down to New Russia, down the opposite way. Easy up here, but it's nice. It feels great. Back up a uh, Rocky Peak Ridge Trail up to Giant once again on our return trip. It's uh, one rock slab to go up. A few of these uh, steep places like this on the way. Here we are at a decent sized little cliff.
Yeah, I'll be putting this away for this one. Like a lot of these trails, uh, is where you gotta do a little climbing. Just minor stuff though. Uh, 246 back at Rocky Peak Ridge Trail Junction. And now it's time to go down. <laughs> it's my crew. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's 8:30. Yeah. <laughs> we were gonna go full, but we're just gonna do this. <laughs> That's all right. That's that's a ways there. Yeah, we, we decided if we want to be out by midnight, we're cutting that out. So we're just gonna go here. Hey, good news! There's a sign here. A little steep parts. First time I've been on this section of trail. We're going down the Roaring Brook Trail, uh, it's 420. We've got a sign for Route 73 parking that way, or... Change wash bowl or the Noble. There's two trails. One goes... I'm not as steep as the Noble Trail, but that's the one we're going to take. The Noble Trail, so we're going to get some more uh, elevation gain in here. It says about nine mile, 0.9 miles, and uh, not sure how much further it is past that back to the other trail we're going down the uh, ridge trail, but we'll find out. I'm here for the adventure and see something different. So, let's do is take a little break, get a little snack and drink, continue on up there. Well, it's a steep little trail in itself. Giant snuggle here, right up here. That'll be our last stop before we head down. This was a steep little hike, nine tenths of a mile, but you work for it. I'd say especially after doing a giant and rocky peak ridge. All right. It's a nice little lookout. Okay, up on the Noble Trail. Keep following this trail. Right, there's a couple really nice lookouts. We may follow this till the end will lead us to some lookouts that maybe people don't get to because they think they've already reached the top. And okay, this is looking like it. I think this is our destination here. We're following this trail all the way to the top, to the end. Okay, this is the Giant's Noble, the top. Just amazing views over those other high peaks over there. And awesome. We came up from the valley, way over there. <coughs> came up this ridge, that ridge there, over those bumps there, and all the way up to the top of those cliffs there. Giant summit. We started to come down, instead of going back the way we came, went down to a valley over there. Way down over there. And came up this 
uh, Giant Snubble Trail. Came up another valley over this way. Fairly steep trail. Winds up there and then comes over this way. These amazing views. A lot of work, but well worth it. I read about this just yesterday and figured I'd check it out. So, yeah, I'd recommend this if anybody has the time. Okay, so that took uh, six o'clock now. Back at the car. It's giant snowball way up there. It's not bad. 1.4 miles back to the car. It took about a. Uh, what was it? 30 minutes. It's not bad. Pretty awesome hike. I'll definitely do that one again. <laughs>